Hey everyone, so today I saw Predator starting Adrian Brody and a bunch of other people that I can't really remember their names. There was that one girl that was in uh, Blindness with Mark Ruffalo and Julianne Moore. And she was also in some other movies I've seen but I can't really remember. I'm lousy at remembering um, actors' names and then attaching those names to their faces. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, either way, I like the movie, but compared to other movies in the series, um, I didn't really like it as much. I think it was better than, um, that, um, Alien vs. Predator movie or whatever that, that came out a, a few years ago, I think it was called Requiem. Uh, definitely better than that, like, the only thing I liked about that movie is when they're trying to escape the town and that one girl gets like the that weird um gigantic samurai throwing star thing thrown at her and she gets like stuck up in the wall or whatever anyways it was um requiem was funny a, a little better uh and uh predators was just i think it fell short like the ending was a little disappointing because it didn't turn out like much of the other movies, but also I like that it didn't turn out like one of like all the other Predator movies. It was just it it was different from the other ones, but it wasn't done like it wasn't made the best that it could have been made. It was just like an okay attempt at a movie. Um, the acting was okay. Um, the old black guy, I forget what his name is, but whatever. Then the, the old black guy that plays in this movie, uh, he was pretending to be all crazy and stuff after having spent like two and a half years on the on that uh, weird hunting planet. Uh, he was pretending to be crazy, and the way he played it was really funny. Well, at least for me, it was funny. And when he died, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I wanted him to die. I really could not stand any more of him. Because he was doing that good of a job acting crazy. And I hate crazy people in movies. Um, another downside I sort of saw to the movie was that it was really predictable. And in many cases, there were parts of the movie where... I would say an exact sentence and then one of the actors would say that exact sentence like two seconds later. It's like I could just I could see half the movie coming and I'm like this isn't really original like I've seen things like this before. Not exactly but it's like the whole thing about how nothing these days is really original. And everything's a remake or a copy of something that's already been done before. And whatever. It was just... It was okay, an okay movie. Uh, not as good as, say, some of the other Predator alien movies. It's It was worth watching it if you like the, the series of those movies. But uh, if you haven't watched any of the previous ones, then you probably wouldn't want to see this one either. And that's about all I got to say for this movie. It was it was okay. Watch it if you've seen the other ones. Don't watch it if you haven't. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. See ya.